I moved to the Philippines now, I would definitely have saved more money. And a lot of you guys do that already. You know, I would have, instead of coming with a hundred, I would have came out here with 20,000. Hey, what's up everybody? It's me again, the Black Filipino TV. Thank you for joining the channel and watching. And today I'm going to talk about how I moved to the Philippines with a only $100 in my pocket. And if I could do it again, I'll definitely do it much different. So let's get into that right now. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, I'm going to have a join button soon. So you guys are welcome to join the channel. Now, if I moved to the Philippines now, I would definitely have saved more money. And a lot of you guys do that already. You know, I would have, instead of coming with 100, I would have came out here with 20,000. That would be my limit. I wouldn't come with no less than $20,000. The reason why at the time uh, the, the dollar was high and uh, 20,000 was around a million pesos. So with a million pesos, you know, you can come out here and do a lot of things that you need to do. And also you don't have to necessarily work right away. See, now when I first came, you know, uh, I wasn't retarded. Of course, I'm not a dumb person. You know, uh, I was getting paid the next day. I knew when I arrived that the next day I was getting uh, $600, so I was fine. And also, I spent a lot of money on other things to make sure my, I was situated before I left the U.S. So, um, I definitely would have uh, saved up more. I would have um, made sure I got a better condo. Now, when I first came, you know, the condo, it, it reminded me of like New York in the 90s. or Not even 90s, I'm wrong. It reminded me of New York in the 70s and 80s. So, New York in the 70s and 80s was very run down. And that's how it was in this particular condo. You know, it was right by the... Um, it's right by the market, I would say. Actually, it was only one block away from the market, right by the Ponak uh sign, by the world famous uh, Pasig Palenque. And yeah, I was staying there and uh, you know, it had uh, the roaches this big and it had the mice going around. A lot of you guys have heard that story before, but I definitely would have made sure I, I moved into a condo that was to my liking, you know, that had rooms very similar to what I had in the US. So um, I definitely would have did that differently. And I also, I would have made sure I worked on opportunity, you know. When you come to the Philippines, of course I have a work at home program, but nobody wants to work from home. You know, you definitely want to make sure you have your own business, um, something you can invest in that, that works for you, or not even invest in, you can work on your own program. So yeah, that's what I would have done different. I actually worked on that goal. I wanted to save a ton of money. But what happened was uh, Kay actually moved from Thailand to Manila. You know, she was a teacher in Thailand. I got her to move there. Um, you know, I had it to where she had a secure job with me, so she had something to make money. And, um, you know, she moved, so she moved there. She was in uh, the Philippines for about seven months. And then one day she gets on the phone and she's like, I can't take it no more, when are you coming? I don't believe you're coming. They're saying my relationship is fake. And, you know, she, she was very sad. She started to cry more and more and more and then sometimes and then it got to the point where she really didn't want to speak to me that much sometimes you know and uh, I said man this is horrible so I started feeling in my chest I said you know what let me just go out there and do it now don't worry about saving a ton of money because you know you of course as a guy you, you don't know where you're going I never watched no, no other vloggers in the Philippines I didn't know where I was going you know I just didn't look for that I just knew I was going there to uh, meet my lady so um yeah I, I get my passport, saved up a little money to, to buy the ticket for the flight, and left right away as soon as I can. And it's crazy because from when it, um, when she complained, I was out in the Philippines in a month, two months, tops. You know, that's how she got me to move so fast. Yeah, so after that, I was here in uh, a month to two months, tops. You know, that actually made me make a, a rash decision, which ended up being a great decision, and, um, I don't regret it. So I don't regret me, you know, uh, not saving that money. But if I could have, I definitely would have done it different. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys know if you come here with a million pesos, you know, that's when you can actually almost buy your condo and then the condo is yours. Also, maybe you can even get a car. There's so many other things you can do. You know, you'd have to worry about working for a year or maybe two. You know, but I didn't want to, I, I definitely wasn't going to, to um, not work at all I definitely was going to have a business set up to make sure I'm okay because I, I don't live off retirement yeah so definitely I should have uh then I mean I, I don't know I mean I knew who Kay was 
you know, of course you're gonna know any, anyone a little bit if you're speaking to someone on the phone and uh, over the computer. But the thing is, I never met her, you know. So I was banking everything on uh, on on going there and being with her. And I should have definitely uh, been more prepared for that. You know, you definitely a lot of you guys, um, a lot of times, and, and no offense to you, you don't get time to give a chance to know the woman. You just want to be with the woman so bad. That was the case for me, but. Um, you know, you guys want to be with the woman so bad that you just pick up and go. And, um, you know, by that time, you know, the woman could be scammy, she could be doing anything. And I'm not saying Filipinos are scammers, but you never know what you're going into, you know. So, yeah, you definitely want to make sure you're prepared. Also, you want to make sure that your woman doesn't know about all your money because you can be in a bad situation too. And I'm not saying that's the situation with Kay. Of course she knows it. I'm still out here with her. I mean, I knew... I, I just had a sixth sense like that. Like I would know if Kay was a scammer. Um, like, I, I like a spidey sense. I, I know some of you guys know what I'm talking about. And um, you know, Kay wasn't that, but still, you know, definitely make sure that you, you're secure as far as she doesn't have access to any of your accounts or, you know, you're just not trusting in everything. Yeah, so at the end of the day, you just never know what you're coming into and you gotta make sure you're secure. Uh, that's pretty much it. So yeah, guys, as far as, um, as far as coming here, you know, with a million pesos, that right there is more than enough. You know, even 10,000 sometimes is more than enough. And you can survive on 10,000 for a year, I'm sure on 20,000 for two years. So uh, keep that in mind, you know, make sure you have high numbers when you're coming. You know, but some of you guys may be coming for a month and it's different. Of course, if you come with for a month and you got 5,000 with you, you'll definitely be okay. So guys, you can't come to the Philippines yet and no South Asian country, Southeast Asian countries open up at all. So, you know, uh, we're looking at maybe next year, May, maybe June, when some other countries open up. Uh, Thailand is looking to open up soon. Thailand's looking to have everyone come into uh, an island, I think, on uh, Phuket. And then from there, you know, um, they stay there for two weeks and then they stay for another two weeks. Uh, uh, something like that, don't quote me on it, but um, yeah, you stay there for two weeks, they check, do a quarantine, do a quarantine test then after that um, you know you can go to the mainland so I'm not sure don't quote me on it but as I heard something like that in the works I spoke with my friend who's also looking to be an expat and that's what he told me and um, you know so no one is opening up right now so uh, I'm definitely expecting it to open up I would say around next year maybe June even July that's how far it may go so um, yeah that's the perfect time for you to save up your money you know you start saving now and by, the, by that time comes, you got 15,000, 20,000. So, um, yeah, so guys, I, I also want to talk about um, the price of tickets right now. And guys, take a look here. Let's see it. So as I just showed, uh, the Philippines will be looking to open around June of 2021. So here are the flights that I, the flights that I find so far. So you see here, this is leaving out of LAX. And it's going to be 33 hours on the flight. And this is uh, $849 round trip. You see they have the different prices. You know, $853, $855. If you want a shorter trip, you can take this trip here. 17 hours from LAX. And then from NRT to Manila. $954 round trip. So that would be more of a desirable flight for me. That's what I would take. Also, this one here looks good. Uh... Nippon Airways, because you definitely want to make sure, you know, you're not flying for 30 to 40 hours. So even here, 19 hours, one stop. This is the more desirable flight that I would take here. Even this one and this one. So these are the prices now. I want to suggest you to book it now. I'll make sure to find out if the Philippines is going to be more solid on the exact date. And then always look out for changes. So I believe that you can actually uh, reschedule this flight if necessary. But uh, that's what it is right now. And these are the prices for round trip. All right, so this is the thing. If you're married to a Filipina and you have a permanent resident visa, you can come in and out of the country without a problem. So uh, all you guys that are married to Filipinas, just get your permanent resident visa. You should be fine. Uh, but other than that, no, you can't just come in the Philippines because you're married, if you don't have that permanent resident visa, it won't work. So get your permanent resident visa. I'm actually getting mine soon. Yeah, guys, so I want to thank you for um, watching this video. Uh, thank you for being a supporter of me. If you haven't subscribed yet, 
click the subscribe button right under the video. Do it. Show me some love. Uh, you know, I just want to thank y'all for continuously being supportive. And also, pretty soon, I'm going to have my join button up. Now, on my join button, I'm going to have my head emojis. You'll see my head making funny faces. And I'll maybe have five of them. And then also, what's going to be included is I'll, uh, you know, give you a shout out in, in my videos. So, for instance, if you're if you uh, a member, okay, you'll be shouted out. And uh, in my videos, I would say at least uh, twice a month. To out, make sure you're posting the video. Also, I'm going to give out uh, my emojis to comment on my on my certain videos. Also, to uh, join my live stream as well. So, with my uh, uh, set emojis, you can use in my live stream. I'll give a set for that. And um, yeah, guys. So please join now. Anything helps. Thank you guys for supporting. Also, guys, uh, make sure you turn on the notification bell. So every video that I, I, I put up in place for you guys, you'll be notified. Now the way to do that is to click the notification bell and then send it to all. And once it's set to all, you'll receive all of my notifications. Because I know before a lot of you guys were saying, hey, Jay, you haven't been making videos for a year. I haven't seen your videos for a year. But the reason why is because you probably weren't subscribed and you didn't put all the notifications on. So uh, let's do that, guys. I know you want to see my videos. Uh, join my channel if you want to support me make sure you join also please make sure that you uh subscribe to uh the friends of the channel katie experience who's my honey boo uh myself the black filipino and also j and k in the philippines hello everybody i just want to thank y'all for watching this video uh make sure you subscribe uh if you want to receive more notifications you're welcome to click the notification bell and change that to all now if you like my content and you want to hit see more Watch this video right here. You're gonna love it. I'm telling you, you're gonna love it.